Shalom. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I just wanted to do a brief video, another uh, rolling in the spirit. Um, I do have pulled up here Romans the eighth chapter, and I want to what I wanted to uh, briefly discuss was, you know, the most important thing for you Israelites is to know to walk in the spirit as much as possible, okay, and to to, to detach yourself from this flesh because the flesh is very very deceptive, and the fact that if you feed it, all right. It may have a good taste to it carnally, all right, but spiritually it could be the wrong move, it could be the wrong decision, okay, and it could be out of season, all right. The scriptures even tells you in the book of Sirach that a fool, when he speaketh a wise word, it really doesn't go over, <laughs> all right, a whole weight because he does it out of season, all right, and uh, these are things that we have to take into consideration. You know amongst our walk you know and this is ultimately what the lord is preparing us for you know um you have the laws you know the 613 law statutes and commandments all right which were given unto us as a covenant that we broke you know and right now we're under a grace period where we're allowed to walk into the spirit okay because you can't judge every situation according to the law a lot of men try to use the law to uh you know, forward a lot of uh, pride, forward a lot of their own, you know, uh, you know, their own lust, not understanding that the Heavenly Father, okay, set us up to operate in the Spirit. And when you're operating in the Spirit, because there's the law of the Spirit. And another thing is, like, a, you have the 613 commandments, but the whole book is the law, too. Because when you read John, the 10th chapter, you know, Yahweh Shai told the, the, those wicked scribes and Pharisees who didn't want to uh, accept him, he, he asked him a question. He said, is it not written in your law that ye are gods? All right. Now, you can't find that in the 613 commandments, but where you can find that is the, uh, the, 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 the whole law within itself, which is the Bible. All right. From front to back is ultimately the law, man. It's packed with wisdom you know, way, uh, ways that, and advice, you know, suggestions, all right, things that holy men did while in particular situations and how they handled it. You can use those as uh, tools um, on how to act or react or not to react in particular situations that you may run into within your walk, all right? That's why the scriptures say here in Romans, the eighth chapter, there is uh, therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahawashai who has given us this grace period to now where we're able to operate in the spirit because like I said every situation that you encounter can't be judged technically according to the law you got to operate in the spirit like like uh, the elder Ariel always brings out this point you can practice a particular play as a football team or as a basketball team or whatever sport boxing you know you know you may look at film on your enemy or your opponent and he does one thing this way and you're anticipating that and you and you practice and practice to execute upon you know what he may do wrong but when you get into the fight you're gonna have to basically adjust man because what if that person isn't where the play designed them to be all right what if you're running a fast break and the dude goes this way or or what if you thought that he would be privy to the right straight but he's prepared for it and he's countering and moving so now what now you have to operate in the spirit and this is what we are doing here in babylon the great as we are pilgrims Okay, because we have no continuing city here. We can't establish the law here in Babylon the Great. Okay, so this is why we don't boast in the law. Now, we do keep the laws to the best of our ability. But the biggest thing 
that the Heavenly Father is looking for is that you operate in the spirit. When you operate in the spirit, you do the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai. Okay, because you have a lot of people who try to use particular scriptures to forward their flesh. And when you play on the flesh, okay, you may get more followers, may people may take your position because the majority of our people are in the flesh and despise government as the book of Jude talks about. But at the end of the day, what the Heavenly Father is truly looking for are those who walk in spirit, okay, and make the, 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 the decisions necessary in any given situation and we find ourselves right now in a very very drastic situation where this devil is getting ready to um you know come down with some serious raft okay you're gonna have to operate in the spirit a lot of people are saying well what if i if they come and do this am i gonna do that or, or if this happens they, they, they. ultimately walk in the spirit in any situation that you're presented with okay all right, if they, if they, if they, uh, uh, you know, take you, okay, what if they take you and they got you in front of them? Hey, the scriptures say that the Lord is going to give you a testimony to tell to them, all right, and that testimony may, I mean, the Lord could put the spirit on them to leave you to hell alone or whatever, and you get delivered out of that. Whatever it is, walk in the spirit, all right? There's now, therefore, no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahawashai, who walk not after the flesh, all right, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Yahawashai Hamashiach had made me free from the law of sin and death. So you operate in the spirit, okay? A lot of you, you know, like, like I did a lesson, you boast in the fringes, where the fringes were like a part of the schoolmaster to where we were going off so much that we had to ultimately be, be commanded to put fringes upon our garments so that we can remember to keep the law. But 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 now the fringes ultimately that the Heavenly Father are pleased with is a regenerated and a renewed spirit to where your intent, your intent ultimately is to do good, man. Okay? Your intent, your inner man is geared towards the building of the tabernacle of David. Because we could all get into what we want to build and get into the things that we want to do in the flesh. But if it's not aligned with the Holy Spirit, then you can find yourself bucking up against the, uh, the, 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 the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And that's very, very dangerous, especially in these times. So, for the law of spirit, the law of the spirit, and this is what a lot of people miss about what Yahweh Shai brought to us via this grace period a lot of you believe that you're currently under one of the covenants <laughs> no you're under grace all right now the laws and the stipulations within that first covenant what do we find we find what the heavenly father dislikes and what he likes how to handle situations okay but living in this society you can't apply those laws all right, in the law, a woman was to separate herself from your household or from you, period, when she was upon, when she was on her cycle. Okay, she anything she set on would be unclean. Okay, <laughs> so we can't really get too high-minded in the law. All right, though the law is a beautiful thing, and though we keep the law, and we teach you Israelites that you should keep the law, don't get too high-minded and forget about the spirit to where you're now unfruitful and stiff. You know, the Heavenly Father ain't with that stiff, played out spirit a lot of you men come in, and women. For the law of the spirit of the life in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai have made me free from the law of sin and death because ultimately the law condemns you. All right, the law, when you read it, it only shows you how filthy and unworthy you are. So how can that be your boast? Okay, that's the, 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 uh, that's the, the purpose of Yahweh Shai and what he brought to us, all right? And this needs to be focused on more, all right? So that we don't get too high-minded and besides ourselves using the flesh, all right? For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, 
God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, because Yahweh Shai, contrary to popular belief, he was born of the seed of man through a woman. All right, and that that thus fulfills the the prophecy that the direct seed of uh, David, the through the lineage of David, the seed of David, which is why in the Luke the second chapter it tells you that uh, uh, Joseph, who was uh, Yahweh Shah's father, was of the house and lineage of David. The man holds the seed. The seed of David would eventually be raised up to sit on the throne of David in the kingdom of heaven. But he will be born on the earth as a man through the seed, direct seed and lineage of David. All right, so he overcame death in the flesh. Okay, in this flesh, flesh just like ours, okay, he conquered death, man. But see, we are still in the process of conquering that death. All right, and when you read the law, you're reminded of that death. So the best thing for us to do is to constantly walk into the spirit, okay? Now, that doesn't mean you don't read the law, you don't go into particular things. That's not what we're saying. And this is the thing, when you, when you, when you, when you walk in the flesh, you don't get these messages, because your focus is the flesh. Your focus is, is, is your own righteousness, man. But the scriptures tell us our righteousness is as filthy rags. Now, what the law could not do, all right, the Lord sent his son in the likeness of sinful flesh and it condemns sin in the flesh. He's our sacrifice because the sacrifices were for what? The sacrifices were to bring you back to the heavenly father. That was the duty of the high priest in the role of the high priest. Now our high priest is a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, but he not only fulfills the, the, the duty of the high priest, he fulfills the, the duty of the sacrifice. All of the things, the atonement. All right, like you have particular brothers and, and it happens. All right, uh, uh, you know, getting that spirit. If you had to work on a day of atonement, you're going off. When Yahweh Shai is your atonement, you're doing that ultimately through faith. Like you keeping the, the, the day of atonement, it's a good thing. A fast is always a good thing. But don't get it twisted as if you're somehow adding to your salvation and the brother who may have to work on that day or a sister who may have to work that day is somehow condemned. And, and, and when Yahweh Shah returns, he's going to be like, see, you didn't work. All right. Now, there is an intent in a, in a mind frame and an effort, but that has to be all through the spirit, man. And every situation ain't going to be the same for every believer, man. This is why the Lord gives all of us our measure. Romans, the 12th chapter, our measure, okay, according to grace. So during this grace period, you're able to offer up a perfect sacrifice according to your measure. Everybody's walk is not going to be the walk. We're one body. We have many functions and different uh, uh, duties. Delete 144 is in front of me. If not, nah, it's 344, but call all y'all about Shemal Shai anyway. You know, so we have to, you know, remember as Israelites walking in the spirit, because what did, what did David say? Thou desire is not sacrifice, else if you, if you did, I would have done it. But the sacrifices that you require are a broken spirit. Okay? Do you, do you, do when you sin and when you go off and fall short, do you continue in that? Do you pray demons off? Or do the fact that the demon you have gives you, all right, carnal uh, uh, fulfillment, fleshly fulfillment, do you continue in doing it, but fake and, oh man, I got demons on me. But you never use the tools that the Heavenly Father gave us, prayer, fasting, faith, you know, uh, you know, the, the word and everything else, the brotherhood or whatever it may be as tools to uh, uh, overcome those particular demons, man. And Esau pulled over. So, the law could not do for us what Yahweh Shai did for us because the law ultimately condemns us, which is the beauty of what Yahweh Shai did from the foundation of the earth is that there's particular spirits, because really, really when you think about it like this, maybe this will help you put, put it more into perspective. Your only hope is that um, you were chosen from the foundation of the earth. From the foundation of the earth, there were particular spirits written 
to fulfill the word of those who will receive life in these latter days. So your only hope ultimately is that you're one of those chosen spirits. <laughs> you know? And when you look at it like that, it's like, damn. So the scriptures say it's not of him that will it or him that run it, but who the Lord showeth mercy. Now those who he do show mer does show mercy to will walk in a particular way and have a particular spirit about them. All right, but the sacrifices are ultimately a broken spirit. All right, and 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 and, and faith. All right, and 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 do you believe that he is? Because you got a lot of men who may boast in the law, but they fully don't believe that he is. They push a very uh, uh, scary. They they come. They they promote and present a very um, faithless report as concerning what's 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 before us. Like that one guy who was talking about, I'm I'm doing this video in the flesh. You know, uh, we we got to get tanks. Which that nigga ain't invested in no tank. But anyway. What did he say? I keep the laws. I keep the laws perfectly. But he doesn't believe that divine intervention is coming from on high to deliver him. So what good is your keeping of all of the laws, which you're not keeping all of the laws? What good is your boasting if you don't believe that he is? If you don't fully believe that he's going to send his only begotten son. The Lord always had angels in particular saviors of men set up to bring Israel back to the Lord. How much more? delivering us out of this hellhole Babylon the Great where this devil has all of this might okay and, and is, is moving in on world domination man so as the scriptures say in the book of Ecclesiastes 13 there's a time for every alright uh, uh, action man and that's ultimately balanced and walking in the spirit knowing when to shut up I'll put you on this. I'll say this. There's particular times where some, I, and I've been guilty of this, where you may jump the gun and speaking on something and it's out of season. It's out of season and you, you may not know, but the apostles or whatever may be looking like, come on, man. Or whatever situation you may, you may be in, just giving that example. There's particular times where you wink for, for a time or you ignore things. As the scriptures say, let the let the filthy be filthy. Okay, that, there's times where that that even going forward, that that's gonna have to be applied. But then the balance of that is that we rebuke them sharp, sharply. You see, but there's particular times where you refrain, you you may refrain from saying something on a matter. So all of these attributes must be applied, and that's a part of walking in the spirit, and that's what pleases the heavenly Father because you're constantly discerning you're constantly trying to see what does Yahweh Bashim Yahushai think what should I do should I say something should I not say something should I should I should I move should I do the video should I should I do this should I deal with this woman wisdom the wisdom that we've been given was to be utilized all right so that we walk in wisdom and in the spirit okay and not be proud man it says that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in her, us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for they that are of the flesh do mind the things of the flesh all right and, and and during this whole time with the gentiles coming in okay which the gentiles were israelites who were scattered throughout the, these regions who turned to these idols but through the preaching of the word all right they uh they 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 uh you know repented and washed away the filth so there was a particular way they had to be dealt with Okay, and Paul, all right, is the fulfillment of that, man, how to, how to deal with these particular issues. And when you read his writings, he's basically a, a, an apostle sent to the uncircumcision, which are the Gentiles, the Israelites, who uh, weren't raised in the customs of Israel. Okay, the law, statutes, and commandments, that's us. So when you read his writings, he had to operate in the spirit using balance. Okay, he had, like the scriptures say, he, what did he say? To the Jews, I became a Jew. And to those who were without the law, I became, to those who were without the law, he knew how to walk and deal with each and every particular brother or sister that was coming into the church according to the measure of faith that they were given. And he understood that because he himself said, I could boast in the law. I, 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 you know, 
he was before he before he was knocked off his high horse he was putting to death followers of the messiah why because he was of the circumcision and boasting in the law and high-minded and rejected those like us those gentiles but when he was knocked off his high horse he then understood the spirit okay which is more important in over in in in, in supersedes the law because here it is we're we're crying for the mercies of david right we're crying for the mercies of David, but if David was judged technically according to the law, <laughs> if David was judged directly, okay, hold up. All right. Okay, if David was judged technically according to the law he would be destroyed he'd be dead we wouldn't have wouldn't be no tabernacle of david and yahweh shai wouldn't have came through him <laughs> you see but it was that mercy which was solomon who sat on the throne of david it was through that mercy okay and what happened the spirit superseded the law and david's intent rather than his actions okay and he acknowledged his offense and he took his punishment, but ultimately it was the spirit. Psalms 130 and three, Lord, if thou marks iniquity, who would stand? None of us would stand, okay? But there is a mercy with thee through his son. So with that, you know, and there's always been a mediator for you naysayers go to the wilderness the lord said listen to my angel hearken unto his voice and he will have okay uh, uh forgive and pardon your transgressions and we need that more than anything so i hope i hope that made sense walk in the spirit and through that we know ultimately what we should and shouldn't be doing in these times okay because within the within the bible Okay, there's instructions. Those are laws too. Precepts. I believe the word for precept is yashab, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong on that, but look it up when you have time. And a precept is a command. Okay, it's a command basically. So these words that we, we read, when you read the Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, now of course it's with balance because every every you can't handle every situation the same but these are law these are uh, uh basically commands all right this wisdom you walk in wisdom walk in the spirit man and it'll it'll help you in your walk man and above anybody anything you can do that's what the heavenly father cares for more a soul that is always constantly looking to do right okay and 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 within any situation at the end they're seeking his judgment and his opinions first above their flesh so hopefully that edified you all shalom